¡Viva el mariachi! ¡Viva el 5 de mayo!
about the problem in Lebanon. Syria, Lebanon. So uh, we're going to get that unemployment down and get people back to work and get back to basic issues of the best man. You're the best man, and we're going to re-elect you as President of the United right. States. Okay. Thank you all very much, and uh, I don't know whether I'll be, I'll probably be talking to you again later here, but maybe here we could have a little something in the nature of a dialogue instead of a monologue. I, uh, I've been telling you, well, this is just uh, recently in San Antonio and out in Phoenix, that among all the economic indicators that seem to evidence that recovery is at hand and that we're having recovery, the most significant one is kind of being ignored, and that is that our critics aren't calling it Reaganomics anymore. <laughs> 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 I, there must have been some times when you said to yourself, if I had a chance, boy, would I ask him. <laughs> and uh, now there, we do have a few minutes here, and uh, go ahead. <laughs> sure, there must be something you like that. Any questions? Are there any questions? These uh, people are pretty well satisfied. <laughs> uh, okay. Not a question, Mr. President. I just want you to tell you how very proud we are of the job you're doing, and that we care very much for you in Ohio. We hope you'll come out to Ohio a lot more. We hope you'll run again, and that we're very proud of the job you're doing. Well, right. thank you very much. I appreciate that. One comment, Mr. President, uh, in, out in the uh, field, out with the the grassroots people, uh, they are really excited about the fact that you haven't backed down, that the things you said you were going to do and the stands you took, you're still right on top of and holding, holding firm. And I think that's significant for the people of Ohio. Well, any more compliments, I presume. <laughs> <laughs> As I said, I was, Bob Hughes is in uh, Death Valley, <laughs> Cuyahoga County. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Robert? I echo what Mr. Flanagan says. I think the programs are right stick with them, keep the tax cut, that's what the people want, they're opposed to 
taxes and stick with your program. Well, there you are. That is from the head of the Republican Party in Cuyahoga <coughs> County. <laughs> Well, I have to say I, I appreciate that very much, but I just want to assure you that's one of the advantages, at least of my age. What point would there be in changing now? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I was with the campaign at 76 and 80 in Ohio, and I just want you to know that you will have the same energetic staff and ready to go again in 84. <laughs> Bless you, and thank you very much. We, you, under, you, you notice I'm not speaking to that thing that you so very kindly said. <laughs> I think that... Uh, be the wrong area. The timing would be wrong. You could automatically become a lame duck. And the other way, if you said the other thing, you could automatically find yourself the target of being opposed on everything you wanted because they would then say it was political campaigning. And, and Mr. President, just an extra kudo to your sending George Schultz into that cauldron in the Middle East with that successful agreement and leading to some others. Out. Well, he's going to get home Wednesday afternoon, and I tell you. And I, because I, you know, the cable traffic back and forth, and I sent one cable to him after uh, one attempt at explosion over there. The, since the terrible tragedy while he was there, I couldn't resist. I sent him a cable. He said, for heaven's sake, don't forget the duck. <laughs> <laughs> In the, the, the hours, they really, those people do like long meetings. And he's been on a schedule that is just unbelievable. And, uh, winding up in Paris for a general meeting there on a whole different subject than with our European allies. But um, some of these meetings far into the early morning hours, like seven and a half hours of, of meeting and discussion. And uh, I'm, I think when I say hello before I even welcome him home, I'm going to apologize for <laughs> what he's been put through. But he's great. He really is. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like for John Wolf. You know, in so many communities you have publishers that like to public their own publish their own opinion here is a man with his own money stands back at you and the Republican Party the publisher and the owner the Columbus Dispatch about 350,000 on Sunday and they're the leading Republican paper in the state of Ohio period <laughs> yeah, that's right. my friends of Len Moss here and please, please give him my regards uh, well listen that's the uh, Huh? We should applaud him. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wake up every morning with a Washington Post. <laughs> Wendy's, You're still with us? Yes. Dave Thomas. Doing a great job. Super job. Thank you. Mitch told me to tell you that, too. His voice. Yes. 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 I saw him just Well, you are doing a fantastic job. He said he just seen you. Yeah. yeah. Ray Mason. Yes. Yeah. The general. For me, too. Sir, uh, I just want to kind of the room to know what a wonderful job you did, a great job of going down in and selecting Jack Bessie as your chairman of the Joint Chiefs. A tremendous person, and not very many White Houses would have found him to put him in charge. And he is performing well, nobly. Brilliant man. The Chief of Staff, uh, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Army General. And he was an enlisted man at Anzio Beach. Yes, sir. And had a battlefield <laughs> commission in World War II. No, he's just great. And all of the chiefs are very moral, man. Strong. <laughs> Incidentally, on this defense build up, and you know, there's been so much picking on us as if, you know, this old kind of a perception that people have that, well, the defense.